Christian Zionists, you've made a terrible mistake, and you've made a league with Satan. You are Victor Frankenstein. You've created a monster dug up out of old, dead pieces and revived, not according to the plan of God for life or for his kingdom. You've abandoned the Great Commission, subjected it to your desire to create something that you thought was wonderful, like Victor Frankenstein, your creation, the so-called State of Israel. It's a lie. It's fake. The book of Hebrews says very clearly that covenant is obsolete. The gospel, the Great Commission for Jew first and then for Gentile was your job. And you made it subject to your eschatological, that means in times, desire to hasten uh, the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. The problem is when he comes, when he comes, what if, what if he comes in his second advent do you, and he's not happy with you? What if you've misunderstood his second coming, just as the Pharisees, the Sadducees, the rulers of the Jews, and most of the Jews misunderstood the nature and rejected the nature of his first co advent, his first coming in the first century. And now you've sewn together in your carnality, in your lust for political power, in your racism, in your um, sophomoric, understand, to say the least sophomoric, stupid, 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 uneducated uh, take on history, have sewn together a monster instead of giving the gospel to the Jews and to the nations, to the world. You, your witness has been one of tribalism, one of... Um, uh, in times hysteria, one of uh, carnality, one of antichrist, one of replacing the Lord Jesus Christ and his commission with a new commission to create a secular state, a secular state that murders babies through legalized abortion and promotes sodomy. And at the same time, all the political momentum that you had in the 1970s, in the Jesus movement, you sacrificed it. You could have used it to end legalized abortion in America and to oppose the wicked abomination of sodomy. Instead, you threw it behind the state of Israel, your Frankenstein monster, which is killing people and corrupting your witness and killing you spiritually. This message is to those of you who might yet wake up before it ends like it did with Victor Frankenstein, with his death. You've created a monster, and you've called it a man, but it's not a man. It's a monster. It's soulless. And you must repent. It ends with your death. If you've read Mary Shelley's novel, it ends with your death and with the death of the monster. But it doesn't have to end that way. You can still repent. You can give it up. You can preach the gospel as the number one priority to the Jew first and then the Gentile. What gospel? The gospel that Peter preached to the Jews in Acts when they said, what shall we do to be saved? After he told them they killed the Lord Jesus Christ, which is exactly what you should have been saying to the Jewish people. Because the people we today generally call the Jewish people are the remnant of those who didn't repent at the preaching of Peter. There were many uh, ethnic Jews, including uh, John and our Lord himself, who did not uh, continue in their identity as Jews. If you read the Gospel of John, it's very clear the faction of the Jews became the faction of those who rejected Jesus. And so the Jerusalem church now is who we call, guess what, the Palestinians. They're still there. Many of them are Muslims, but quite a few of them are Christians. Those are the native peoples of the land. They needed the gospel. We should have been in strengthening the church there, sending missionaries to the Jews, 
to um, everyone who needs to hear the gospel of salvation, repent, believe, and be baptized for the remission of sins. In the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of the Holy Trinity, instead, instead, you've thrown your power, your priorities, your money, and your momentum behind a God-hating, because Jesus is God. So he's not the one who favored them. He's not the one who put them in that land. He said very clearly, you won't see me until you say, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. But you, as you created your Frankenstein monster, as you yourself apostatized, accepted contraceptives, uh, refused to um, criminalize abortion, refused to defend his law, refused his great commission, And now you've made a monster after your own image. And the blood of these Palestinians and Jewish people who are dying right now in the Holy Land is to a disproportionate degree on your head. The monster has to die. But all these people don't have to die. And you don't have to die. If you can hear my words now, repent of the unnatural and unholy Antichrist creation that you made, take responsibility, repent in sackcloth and ashes, destroy the monster, and restore your witness for the Lord Jesus Christ. Before he comes, you think you want him to come. You think he's coming for you. Yeah, he's coming for you. If you don't repent, he's coming for you, and you're not going to like it. He's coming to destroy you, Zionists of every variety. You're not his people. You are disobedient, and the judgment that fell on the Jews in AD 70 is going to fall on you. You say you love Jesus, but it's a Zionist Jesus. It's a Jesus who is a liar, okay? A fake Jesus, an antichrist. Not the real Jesus. Repent, destroy the Frankenstein monster before it's too late.